Uh, I'm former Congressman Steve Israel uh, from New York. I'm now the director of the Cornell University Brooks Institute of Politics and Global Affairs. And I'm here at USIP uh, to convene our, our annual partnership with uh, USIP, our Congressional Peace Games. Uh, this is where we bring in members of Congress and staff on a bipartisan basis. They work through a simulated conflict uh, and try and arrive at a solution that doesn't necessarily mean going to war. Well, I learned in Congress that we're living in a world of VUCA, volatile, uncertain, complex, and ambiguous. And when you have that uncertain and complex geopolitical environment, it's more important than ever that the United States lead, and lead based on bipartisanship, that Democrats and Republicans stand together and stand for the promotion of democracy and peace and security and stability. That's why these peace games uh, that uh, Cornell does with USIP are so important, creating new congressional relationships uh, that are bipartisan uh, that pursue those very worthy and noble goals. Uh, one of the fundamental lessons that I learned as a member of Congress uh, was that I was only as good as my staff uh, and only as hardworking as my staff. And I really relied on my foreign policy and military staff to advise me on critical issues. A member of Congress has to cover a multitude of issues. A congressional staffer really focuses on a, a much narrower uh, portfolio. And so bringing staff into these games is vital because it makes them better advisors uh, to their bosses. We are living uh, in a world of contention. Uh, we are living in a world of greater competition. Uh, we are living in a world where uh, our adversaries are becoming stronger. Uh, they're projecting uh, more aggressiveness. And so that's exactly the time uh, when you want to step back, show leadership, and understand the full range of tools that the United States has in managing those conflicts. It is a natural tendency, I think, for human beings to see something they don't like and want to fix it. Some want to fix it by, uh, with a military response. Others understand that there's soft power, there's deterrence, there's diplomacy. That soft power is the best investment we have because it's much more expensive when you have to resort to hard power to protect your interests.